I'd rather think that we'd be spending more energy learning how to live better. I'd rather start there and then let worry about the longevity thing a little later. Part of knowing that you're going to die, not to get all philosophical on you, but knowing that you're going to die creates a certain focus on your activities in life in the present. If you, if you knew you were going to live for a thousand years, then at any moment you would say, well, what's my hurry? Why should I finish this manuscript today? Or why should I work late in the lab? I can just go home and watch the game. And so knowing that you lead a finite life creates a certain urgency to the minutes that you live that I value, I value greatly. And I don't know what it would mean if we lived forever or lived a really long time. I don't know what it would mean for my focus. Maybe it's not, you have to be careful what you wish for here. Maybe if we live a long time, people become less productive than they do when they don't live very long at all. I think of the mayfly that lives no more than 24 hours. You know, what is life like to them? They don't even, they'll never see a sunrise if they're born in the daytime. The things that we take for granted that they never see. So every minute of their life is, well, it's a wall or it's a ceiling, it's a moon, it's a grass, it's a, everything is this life experience that's captured and presumably valued in their little brain. <laughs> so I like to take my 75 years on this planet and be like the mayfly, thinking they're only living for a day and just take it all in.